And finally, new rule someone has to tell China, you can steal our trade secrets, our software, and our intellectual property, but we draw the line at our hot freestyle skiers. <laughs> Now, <clears throat> if you've been like me over the past few weeks, glued to your TV watching the Olympics, that makes exactly two of us. <laughs> we knew there were shithole countries, but who knew there was a shithole superpower? <laughs> but I'm sure you've heard about American citizen Eileen Gu, the beautiful model, influencer, and now gold medal winning skier who was born and raised here in America, but who chose to ski in the Olympics for China. Cool, huh? Is it? Is, is that cool now? To <laughs> choose to represent a totalitarian police state over America? The Olympics pretends to only be about sports, but of course, the games have always been a bit of a proxy war for which country has the best system. And by choosing Team China, Eileen Gu became a living symbol of China's triumph over the West, which wouldn't bother me so much if I thought China had triumphed over us in the ways that really matter, but they haven't. Now, we do have human rights issues right here at home, we do, but we're still at least for another three years a, <laughs> a democracy based on freedom, and they are an authoritarian surveillance state based on how'd you like to disappear for a few months? Like that uh, tennis player who recently vanished for a while when she said she'd been raped by a government official. We do still throw too many black people in jail. But perspective matters. China has basically jailed an entire ethnic minority, the Uyghurs, a situation that both the Trump and Biden administrations has called a genocide. America is not close to that. And it's a cynical dodge to pretend that China's sins should be overlooked because we all do it. Mm -hmm. No. In 1997, Britain returned Hong Kong to China with an agreement that Beijing, that from Beijing, that Hong Kong could retain its free press, honest courts, and democratic government. Well, they lied. Democracy and freedom are being crushed there. And China doesn't want anyone to talk about it. And because so much money is involved, no one does. Two years ago, when the general manager of the Houston Rockets, Daryl Morey, tweeted, fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong, he was forced to apologize. <laughs> In America, we're supposed to root for democratic government, not apologize for it. But the NBA has a television deal with China worth a billion and a half dollars. So LeBron James said... Maury needed to be educated on the situation. The situation being, I got some shoes to sell. <laughs> Kow Kowtow is a Chinese word, but boy, Americans have gotten good at it. <laughs> For years, Google proudly refused to kowtow to Chinese censors, adopting the slogan, don't be evil. But the Chinese market proves so lucrative that, well, okay, a little evil. <laughs> That's the deal China offers American companies and celebrities. We'll give you access to our billion-plus consumers as long as you shut up about the whole police state genocide thing. John Cena took that deal. Well, come on, China accounts for 34% of global box office, and he's a movie star now. So, like the Uyghurs, Last year, he learned he needed to get some re-education. <laughs> <clears throat> you see, he, John, referred to Taiwan as a country as if it was a separate country from China, which it is. But China would like to do to Taiwan what it did to Tibet and what it's now doing to Hong Kong. So we were treated to this video. <laughs> and I thought steroids shrunk your balls. <laughs> Oh, 
Wowee, when a country can make your big, muscly, macho man action stars grovel in their language, you know you're somebody's bitch. <laughs> in the original Top Gun, Tom Cruise wore a bomber jacket with the flags of several Asian countries that are our allies sewn on the back. Well, the flag for Taiwan has now magically disappeared for the upcoming Top Gun Maverick. Well, he used to be a maverick. Now he does whatever China says. <laughs> so... So can you really blame 18-year-old Eileen Gu, who's already made over $31 million as the face of 23 brand products in China, for following in the footsteps of other American celebrities? Some of Gu's defenders say it's racist to ask if she's still an American citizen, and she herself <clears throat> won't say. Why is that racist? Why was it racist to think that COVID might have originated from a lab leak as opposed to from eating bats? Besides the fact that the idea that COVID came from eating gross, weird food seems way more racist than the idea that it came from a high-tech lab. <laughs> 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 Besides that, the definition of woke was supposed to be being alert to injustice in society. But because the woke now see race first and everything else never, fear of being accused of racism has given a free pass on human rights abuses to China and any other places that are perceived as non-white. If China was in Europe, would they get away with having concentration camps without more of an outcry from America? If men were forcing women to wear this in, say, Massachusetts, would that go as unremarked on as it does? The Chinese classify transgender as a mental illness. They just edited Friends episodes so that Ross's wife is definitely not a lesbian. <laughs> How would that go over here? Didn't Martha Lu Luther King say, an injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere? Uh, can we, can we still quote him? <laughs> in, in 2020, NBA players wore jerseys that said freedom, speak up, and justice. But I guess those things only matter for home games. <laughs> Sorry, Uyghurs. Someone has to tell me where we got this rule that you can't criticize China, because I suspect we got it from China. <laughs> Because after all, it's where we get everything else. <laughs>